So welcome. Thank you. Uh, we're here with um, Emil Peralta. Did I say that correctly? Yes. Peralta. Welcome aboard Cheers. to Belalago uh, boat. We're chatting on the lake. Uh, we wanted to uh, bring you on. She's one of our newer agents. Actually, not new. Well, new. You've been with us for what? A year and a half. Yeah, almost a year. All right, cool. And but she's never been on the boat, so I figured we'd bring her out here and talk to her for a few minutes. Actually, I have. Oh yeah, that's yes. right. Once and, I was yes. on the boat once. Yes. yes. So welcome back. Yes. All right, cool. Mm -hmm. So uh, the reason I do this is because uh, we want to, um, you know, send this out and uh, to some, you know, friends and potential customers to talk about what you are really about. Uh, ask you some questions and see if we can get you to, you know, admit admit anything. Okay. okay. So, um, where are you originally from? Okay, so I am from DR, so the Dominican Republic. Well, my family is from there. I was actually born in Houston, Texas. Okay, so Texan. Yes. Wow. And then I lived in Jersey for like two years, and then the rest of my life here. So basically, I'm a native to Kissimmee. All right, so, cool. But I like to claim DR because, you know. <laughs> I got you. So what brought your family to Central Florida? Um, family, my other, I had an uncle living here, so we kind of came down, and also, um, DR is not really the ideal place to, like, raise a family, um, well, at least where we're from, it kind of gets a little dangerous, mm -hmm. and then, um, up north it was too cold, yeah. like, it was way too cold, I used to get sick all the time as a baby, so yeah. they chose the opposite, which is Florida. <laughs> there you go, it was Florida, California, welcome to Florida. Yes. All right, yes. cool. So, let me ask you a question, what, what made you choose real estate as a career? So my dad is a builder and my parents together, they both invest in real estate. So it made sense for one of my sisters. I were four girls. So one for one of us to get our license. One of four girls? Yes. Wow. No <laughs> yeah. boys. No. So you're well, like God, a family. grandson. That's it. Gotcha. So one of us got it. My sister actually got it and then she went to the Navy. So then I was like kind of up next. Like I have to get it. So I got it. Um, Alex's dad had a huge part. Big Alex. He's one of our team leaders. Um, he had a huge part in me wanting to get it. He was super supportive. Um, all of you guys were so it, it kind of like fell into my lap and i love it so yeah. I, I wouldn't change a thing cool if you were if i were to ask you where in the world would you want to live where would it be i i would say texas i got it really? i want to live in texas wow. i like the real estate in texas i I don't know. I think it's more because of the houses in Texas. That's mm -hmm. why I don't think I could survive in a different country that I don't know the language. Mm -hmm. um, or I think it's just, I've just been so accustomed to the American living. So I feel like if I was to even go somewhere where, like like London, for example, yeah. I would be lost. lost. I would feel like super out of place. So although it sounds amazing, uh, unless I had unlimited funds, mm -hmm. then I don't think I could do it. I got you. I got you. Um, if you were to meet one person or, or have the chance to meet anybody in the world, whether they were uh, alive or dead, who would it be and why? Um, this is kind of going to, you're probably going to be a little shocked, but I would I'm say never shocked. Kobe Bryant. Really? I love Kobe Bryant. Yeah. So I, I, I don't follow basketball that much, but once he passed, I kind of started to like look into his life mm -hmm. and what he's gone through and how he built what he has. And one thing I respect the most about him is he built everything. Um, he built this amazing legacy, but he also kept a family and mm -hmm. a wife and you know like sometimes with the these People who go big like they kind of lose track of like what's important mm -hmm. family wise And I just think it's like amazing what he did and it's I f feel terrible for the family that he passed yeah. away But he passed away from something amazing. He left behind. Yeah, it's crazy how somebody like Kobe Bryant um, passed away and after he passed a lot of people dug into his past or found out what kind of person he was yeah and he was an amazing human being yes so it, it's it's crazy it's unfortunate yeah that you find out later on but i think that the persona that they bring to the basketball court as a professional or even at the baseball field uh it has to be different you mm -hmm. have to look tough you have to be that one person that's you know so but okay kobe ryan yeah. um favorite food pasta. pasta any variation of pasta or potatoes Carbs. carbs carbs in general any <laughs> carb <laughs> give them give them to me <laughs> favorite drink i alcoholic uh anything any <laughs> your favorite beverage favorite beverage mojitos i like it mojitos are my go-to everywhere yeah that's cool yes um favorite place to go on vacation bias here dr okay cool the beaches in dr are just really different <laughs> they're really relaxing i don't know something about that like the sun the sand the water mm -hmm. i'm biased though so yeah, it is an amazing place <laughs> i've been there a couple of times so it is an amazing place um all right um if um can you tell us something that no one really knows about you that you would like to share with us today on this 
shot on the lake. Something that, that nobody know knows about you, you. Or, or, or that, you know, most people don't realize about you. Um... I'm trying. I'm trying to think of something. And don't worry, I'm, we got all day. Don't I'm worry. like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, can we circle back? <laughs> um, something that not many people know about me. Um, I guess it's not really anything like super secretive, but like a lot of people. Do, yeah, I actually almost died when I was like six months old. I wow. turned. So this is the reason why I moved down from Jersey because I. So now the truth comes out. Yeah. <laughs> it was really really cold, and I turned purple. I got the daycare, wow. yeah, so my mom had to like rush over there and that's when they were like, we gotta go. So yeah, so I turned purple, like I was like minutes away from complete, like just stopping. Like, oh my like God. Yeah, so it's kind of that. So my mom, like when we first moved to Florida and like the winters before they were colder than they mm -hmm. are now, she would make us wear like three pairs of leggings and sweatpants in and Flo jeans in Florida. in Florida, like to school. And I would get to school and I would just take off a pair. <laughs> I was like, mom, this is embarrassing. I look like, like <laughs> you know those people who wear layers of clothes? Like yeah, I look like that going to school. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, it's great to have that you didn't go. Yes. It's great to have you here. I appreciate it. It's great to have you on the team. On the team. And uh, let me ask you one last question. Yes. Um, if you were to identify yourself as a realtor with one word, what would it be and why? I would say um, passionate. So okay. I love this field. I love helping people find homes, whether it's invest. I like the investment side a lot, mm -hmm. um, just because I see like from, from the, my parents, like how you can build something out of nothing or like minimal. Um, and I I don't know something about like the closing table and like seeing their faces. Like the other day, we just closed in Solavita, and I got the phone call that the wire finally went through after hours of them waiting for title to receive it. Yeah. And they were just ecstatic. They had the moms in the car. It was actually both of their birthdays back to back. So we closed oh, wow. Friday. It was his birthday. Saturday was her birthday. That's awesome. So everyone was just happy and like calls like that and things like that just like make it all worth it. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, so. much luck to you. Thank God you. Bless. Cheers.